Friday night. What exactly are you doing? Where in the world are you? You aren't with us. But we are at the most incredible place on the island right now tonight, bringing you the most incredible experience, or about to bring you the most incredible experience you could want in dining. Welcome to Showman's Mukbang. I hope I got it right. I'm Jerome Sawyer, along with the lovely... Christina Dragovich, ready to eat. Yes. So, um, this is all about a dining experience. Uh, we have been eagerly awaiting tonight because we are about to taste some good food and have some other, what we call in the Bahamas, libations. Libations, yes. <laughs> yes. So, we're going to meet our guy here. Who's going to get us started? Christina, Jerome, how are you doing? We're good. Red wine, please. It's been a long work week. Well, I'll give it a long work week. It's a beautiful glass. That's a big glass. <laughs> <laughs> it's a serious business. <laughs> <laughs> See, she, she did the lady thing. She ordered a red wine. Watch this now. And what are you going to have? Vodka and tonic. <laughs> I was kind of anticipating that. <laughs> wow. How did you know? <laughs> I have a special glass waiting here. Oh, oh, oh man. Cool. How did you know I'm a horse lover? There you go. All right. Well, you use a man. All right. So, folks, we are going to get the evening started with uh, some light cocktails. <laughs> light is relative. <laughs> um, and in just a few moments, we're going to take you through a wonderful dining experience. The folks here at um, Showman E Bistro. The restaurant, they have prepared a wonderful meal for us tonight. So we're going to take you through all of that in just a moment um, as we prepare to introduce you to this dining experience. Christina, yeah. it's a Friday night. What yeah. are you looking forward to? You've had a rough week. Ah, first of all, I'm looking forward to an adult meal. You know, no uh, French fries, no Miss Donald's, as my children call it. Um, I'm excited about not knowing what is coming. My, I guess my expectation is a little different. You know, Christina's the mom, we with the children, and so it's a good night out for her. For me, it's a like, I really want to let loose. <laughs> <laughs> this will be like the start of your night. Yes, okay. yes. So it's like, it's a Friday night, you know, Friday night we all know is happy hour cocktail, good dining, that kind of thing. So I guess we're looking for... Of course, of course. So we're all going to do this in a very safe environment. Um, but tonight really is about a dining experience. And I get to experience it with Christina. Yes, this is our first dinner. So, so we're going to go grab a seat uh, and join us for the next hour or so. You're going to be here with us. Um, or we're going to be here with you. And so those of you who are watching, who are joining us, welcome. Um, this is a fantastic spot. Uh, if you have been driving along Mackey Street and you've seen this beautiful building uh, that's here right across from uh, Wendy's, you'll, you've probably asked yourself what's going on. Yes. Uh, like most of us. Uh, and they're dining experience. Um, and they have all these wonderful uh, meals prepared from all around the world. These great, it's a great infusion of foods. Um, and experiences uh, and tonight we're gonna gonna uh, we're gonna take you through some of them so let's get the night started cheers cheers we're just wide open aren't we yeah very much so awesome awesome so we're gonna be awaiting our first course in in, in a minute and before we get started <laughs> I almost forgot anytime Don't a bar <laughs> oh anytime a bar is involved I lose focus <laughs> So you may hear some great music playing in the background. We are accompanied by the one and only DJ Fines. DJ Fines. There you go. Now, my boy, you can't eat and have good music. Sorry, you can't eat and have good food, good cocktails, and have good music. So you you are the one who are you leading the party tonight. All right, all right, good. How good I know he is. He's 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 good people. Good stuff. So we're ready for our first course. Thank you. 
this is a crispy. All right, sorry. Take, tell her, take us through that again. It's a crispy kale salad yes. with palm granite, apple, apple, apple vinaigrette. vinaigrette dressing. Yes. You said wow. that's out nice and healthy. I like that. Take it to the kitchen. All right. All right. Are you ready, Jerome? Well, I, oh, yes, I, I mean, you I, were ready to dig it in. I, I hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the presentation is absolutely fantastic, by the way. Um, oh, this is nice. I like the and salad it is crisp, already. Yeah. Like it's, um, Oh my god. That is good. Hmm. The red onions have like a really nice flavor that it adds to the vinaigrette. I like you know, sometimes you're you have a you'll have a salad. Mm. Um and um <clears throat> there's a little kick. <laughs> 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 okay, I didn't expect that. Um and salads can be mundane and sort of plain, but this is, this is fantastic. This is really good. So there's a... What's crunchy in here? We need our guy back, please. <laughs> <laughs> but the flavor We're really going to put you to work. Well yeah, no. Now, you know, I'm a foodie, right? But I'm terrible about ingredients and things of that nature. <laughs> No, I am. I'm really, I'm really, really terrible. I just wanted to ask you if you cook. Do you cook, Jerome? I do cook. I'm a non-traditional cooker. Mm. Um, I try to do healthy stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but I throw in some Bahamian stuff as well. Um, but I'm, I'm, usually, I'm, I'm very scared about messing up recipes. Mm -hmm. So I stick to things I know. And if I learn something new, I'm like, oh, okay, I, I'm going to cook this over and over until I get it. But I'm... I'm 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 kind of skeptical about trying new things in the kitchen, just because I don't want to screw it up. But I know you are <laughs> a bit of a food connoisseur yourself. Um, well, yeah. When when you have little people to feed, you know, <laughs> you have to think outside of the box a lot of times. So sometimes I get them involved. Well, sometimes I get Bryce involved. Bryce is my oldest. He mm -hmm. he'll be four in August. I try to get him involved. He always wants to be a helper, so. It usually works better with desserts, though. Mm. I can't imagine him helping like an so, entree. So, yeah, we sent for you. Sorry, we summoned you. This is fantastic. Now, tell us a little bit about what went into this, so Some people. Parmesan cheese in there. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Sweet potatoes. Mm -hmm. Sweet potatoes. Mm -hmm. Toasted almond. Ah. Toasted almond. Mm -hmm. Ah. Potato stuff is light and soft, so it doesn't crunch up. Nice, because I I enjoyed that crunch. It's a nice mm -hmm. um nice contrast. Thank you very Thank much. You. We just needed an update there. This is. This I have no clue. Cool. I'm just going to start eating until they say stop. Keep eating until they say stop. <laughs> this I'm is not an eating competition, Jerome. I'm hungry. I'm <coughs> <coughs> you know, it's a Friday. You worked all week. <laughs> and then, you know, if you know you're going out mm -hmm. for like, you know, a happy hour or right after work, you sort of pace yourself. You say, okay, well, I'll eat, I'll eat lunch earlier and I try mm -hmm. not to eat because I'm going to go out and eat right. later on. Um, so, I've been waiting, I'm going to turn my little glass <laughs> on so you can see my Show horse. Show everyone the horse. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, but this is, this is fantastic. So, you know, something like this you can almost eat on your own. It's healthy, mm -hmm. it's a good size portion. If you're, you know, a real health, um, I don't want to say fanatic, if you're really in, into health, healthy food. So this is a, even as a starter for us, you can really... You know, eat this on its own. This could be a meal. Yeah. Definitely. Like a nice lunch. Mm-hmm. Which I understand that they, they can, like, cater to your needs if you're, say, on a diet that restricts um, how much carbs you're eating mm -hmm. or sugars or stuff like that. They can come up with a menu or, you know, help you meet your diet obligations. Or if you want to do a corporate lunch mm -hmm. or an event and you want you have a specific diet as well for that it's good um but the restaurant itself um folks we just want to tell you about that as we go on is really a unique experience so you see me looking down i'm going to tell you you know it's perfect for business lunches so if you want to get away um and you want to have that meeting um with a client or with co-workers or 
with the anchor who always gives you trouble. No. Um, this is a good place to come and have a business lunch. After work cocktails, yeah. <laughs> Um, it's a good place to come, you know, with your friends, etc. Date night. I, that's for you. I, you know, it will all be going on date, date night. Everyone been locked up in the house way too long. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, question: Do married people go on dates? With their spouse? Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I would hope so. That's I'm a legitimate question. <laughs> oh, sorry. But we definitely need more like date night no, destinations. Yeah. And this is a really nice ambience and environment. And so far, if the rest of the night is going to be like this starter, then it's this is a good place. Now, the other interesting thing about the restaurant is that uh, there's a lot of Bahamian artistry um, that's involved here. Uh, there's some great work that, that's going to greet you, and um, that's probably the best way that I can describe it, um, done by some great Bahamian artists. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's going to be a part of the vibe itself. So you're going to come in, you're going to have great food, but it's really going to create an entire experience for you. Um, in fact, Shomani Bistro, the restaurant is described as a piece of artwork, hmm. which I so from the food to the ambiance um, to the to the setting, the music, mm -hmm. you know, TJ Pons, you jamming. Up. That's Robin Essay. Yeah. That's how we see. He's an old school boy. See, I'm like, who? <laughs> <laughs> Christina, you don't know about Robin Essay. No. I know the song. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta school you on some music. <laughs> but the beat is good. It's cool. And you know, um, I remember the first time I went into a restaurant that had that was like almost on that had music mm -hmm. and that feel to it. I was, uh, I think, in New York many, many years ago, mm. and I thought this is really what. A dining experience should be. You know, we were yeah. accustomed to the, you know, the quiet restaurant and the music yeah. playing in the background. No but <laughs> the first time I walked into a place, I was like, wow. And so to know that we're going to experience something like that here right. um, is really, you know, um, exciting. I think people are really, really, really going to get, you know, get into it. But what I like is that you don't have to, like, go over the bridge. You don't have to go behind some gates. You don't have to, like, in a hotel here in Nassau. Yeah, yeah. It's in a hot in Nassau. Right. Yeah. Um, and that's a plus, you know, it's because... It's for us. Too often, far too often, the experiences that we want, we have to go to where the tourists are. Not that there's an issue with that, but sometimes we want to do our own thing and be in our own areas mm -hmm. and, you know... Have them come, come to us. <laughs> Eat more dinner drinks, or this is water. <laughs> okay. the balance, the oh, the balance. Yes. Thank oh, you. There's that. Water. Always keep hydrated throughout the night. Good idea. Yeah. You'll always. feel better tomorrow. <laughs> as long as your children don't wake you up at oh, yeah. seven a.m. Oh yeah. The the children. So mm -hmm, the children. Mm -hmm. And two. <laughs> so, um. If you are, if you are a salad lover, um, this is perfect. If you are, if you're not even a salad lover, um, the yeah. yeah, but the sweet potato. I did not know. That. I never would have. I mean, I saw it. I, I had it no was clue. Carrot. I didn't taste carrots, but I still I, 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 always, I didn't think it was carrots. It's show man, it could be anything, I don't know. I mean, but it made sense. But it's interesting because, you know, something like a sweet potato in our context, we think of it as a very limited uh, ingredient. Right. We don't always think of it as, as something, you know, in, in a salad like this. I mean, I'm no chef, like I said, but, you know, um, this, this is very creative. And, wow, this is amazing. Um, so, if you're just joining us, my mother would be horrified that I'm speaking with my mouth full. Jerome, that's the style of the mukbang. 
Talk with your mouth full? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Someone did not do his research before showing up. That's all I'm wow. going to say, okay? You call me out like that? <laughs> really? <laughs> I mean, this is my first mukbang also, but... It is our, it's our first one. Yeah. yeah. I think it's the first one in the Bahamas, too. So, yeah, so... So you get to, like, throw all the rules out of the window. Yeah, eat with your mouth full. Okay, Enjoy. talk with your mouth full, do whatever. Drink during yeah, the broadcast. <laughs> if our bosses are watching, <laughs> this is the only time we will ever attempt this. <laughs> exactly. So I think we're about to get another course. Mm. Um, so we will prepare right. for that. I don't want to let this go. This is really good. <laughs> but I know we've got to eat more. And for the record, I eat more than Christina. I'm trying to pace myself because I know there has to be dessert at the end of this, and dessert is is my core. Really? That was made for me. I am abs, and, and you know what? I guess that's why they chose us. We're polar opposites. I'm so not a dessert person. No, I can. I always skip dessert. I'm always like, oh, oh I'm okay. I you look know. at dessert first on the menu when we're at the restaurant. I'm like, okay, is there a dessert I would like to eat? Then I can work backwards from there. Really? Ooh. Oh wow. All right. This is gonna rob the thought of dessert right out of your mouth. Never, never. <laughs> okay. Okay. We have here a lovely falafel. Oh. Spicy tomato ragu with feta cheese. Oh my okay, goodness. hold on, don't go anywhere. It's uh and you know I'm I'm big on pronunciations. Falafel. So Lebanese falafel? Yes. Okay, with that's a spicy tomato ragu. Anything with a Lebanese type, you go. This looks really good. My son this is telling me to blow on my food. <laughs> is amazing. Wow. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my god. All right. The spices, the spices really make this. This is amazing. And you know what I like about it? Everything. Well, no. Sometimes <laughs> you get like a <clears throat> something of this texture, and it's bready, mm -hmm. or it's thick. This is very, very light. It is. So it's not the kind of thing that will traditionally, you know, fill you up very quickly. That is really oh, good. Wow. And while it didn't knock the. This is really it's full of flavor and not like over spiced, over flavored. It's like just right. And I see that there are hidden veggies in here. So this is good she's, for little people. She's such an investigative reporter. <laughs> hidden. Mm, that's good. So this is a great starter. Like if you, you know, um, if you just want to get your evening started with something that's filling and tasty and and this in and of itself you know you can sort of have on have on its own as well this is also a perfect yeah. like, lunchtime meal mm -hmm. or if someone's eating lighter or i need to learn how to make this though bring it to work i'll try <laughs> yours <laughs> this is really good mm. i guess i did that about everything so far but this is and it's real, like Lebanese, like, yes, it is. Yes. like from Lebanon, Lebanese. <laughs> <laughs> I went to grad school with a guy from Lebanon. Yeah, I, I go ahead. You know what he told me? So you know, everyone talks about the countries they come from. He said in Lebanon, on their highways, there are no um, no lanes. So it looks like a, a four or six lane highway, but there's no lane. So everyone is Lebanon on as well. Um, and we, um, we country just from hanging out with her. But this is amazing. I think my parents would like this. Yeah. 
But again, it's a good kind of like, you know, you and a couple friends come out mm -hmm. and you order a bunch of things. Right. And it's the kind of thing that everybody can get a little bit of and, you know. Um, you don't want to go the same places and order the same things. Like chicken wing. I hate going out. <laughs> chicken and wing. like you already know exactly what's Fritters. on the menu because they have never, they haven't changed the menu Caesar from the salad. day they opened. <laughs> chicken wings, <laughs> fritters, <laughs> your lucky cheese sticks mm -mm. that were frozen. Yeah, um, so, up. wait a minute, is there like a shrimp in there? I think there is a seafood something. Yeah. Nice. He didn't tell us all the secret no, ingredients. No, he didn't tell us, yeah. But that's okay, we could figure mm -hmm. it out. I'm going to have to run home and there's no, <laughs> no driving. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. But great for great for a starter, great flavors, um, very light. Um, again, oh. well, does it make you down? That's like a perfect foodie thing, <laughs> like the food dance, like <laughs> like the happy food dance. Really? No, I don't. More of these make me down. Not food. Just for the rack. Oh, I see you working on that red wine. All right. I mean, all right, all right, okay. It's a nice compliment. It's a Friday. It is, it is, yeah. I think I'm going to switch at some point and have some wine. Like, most definitely. This, this is amazing. So, folks, if you are just joining us or you caught us halfway in, and welcome. And you have no idea what we're doing. Other than eating on the live stream. <laughs> uh, welcome to Showman's Bookbang. Um, we are experiencing this for the first time. Shoman E Bistro, the restaurant, is going to be coming your way very soon. It's right on Mackey Street, right across from Wendy's, that beautiful building that you've been driving past constantly and asking yourself what is going on in there. It's going to be a perfect dining experience for lunch, dinner, corporate events, luncheons. Um, Uh, and include it, all the backstroke. Uh, yeah, <laughs> she didn't really finish. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, with gr you know, with great ambiance and great uh, Bahamian art, and it's really going to be, I think, um, if I can steal the word, a showpiece. I like that. That's Thank you very something much. Something I would do with one of my new scripts. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> So we are here experiencing this tonight, and we want you to um, really take note, remember, um, like, share, follow, um, stay tuned for all the updates to the big opening, uh, so you can come by and check it out. Um, and it is a, you know, if I can steal some of the, some of the notes here they gave us. They're offering a unique culinary experience with live music for the ultra chic and sexy vibe. It's a good vibe. Uh, the music. Uh, the I was going to say music. Me, 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 you know, DJ Fines is providing us with music tonight. There he is. He only played like one song, I know, but everything's cool. There's no more. <laughs> <laughs> but he's providing some great music tonight. Just giving you an idea of what the vibe will be in here. Um, you know, once we, once they, once these guys are officially open. So, dishes um, are featuring. Um, spices and recipes from around the world. Around the world. Now, this is where I asked Jerome this question earlier. I asked him if he speaks French. Mm -hmm. so, um, je me parle petit français. Oh, okay. Boom! Oui. <laughs> oui, oui. Um, but there's a phrase, a phrase that they use. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say it out loud. What about you? I think it's called Gutes Le Mou. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. I need to practice that. Gutes Le Mou. You know, St. Anne's French class. Mm, I learned Spanish. <laughs> so we're ready? Okay, good. We can wrap up. Yeah, we're ready for the next course now. Um, all right. Let me not make a complete mess here. That's okay. All right. This was really it's good. Part of the fun. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. recipe for these, though. And once, sorry, I'm going to hand you the wrong thing. Once she gets the <laughs> recipe, 
and she got to she gets to bring him to work <coughs> so I can um, enjoy. So, is this your idea of a fun Friday night? Food, drinks, oh. a break from the babies. Not, not like, you know, completely saying goodbye babies, but yeah. you know, everyone needs a break once in a while. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice to not have to cook. People got very tired of cooking their own food and the things that they know how to cook. So I think this is really Cool. Oh, and wow. this is even cooler. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. I'm going to wait yeah. to hear what this is, but I think I know. Give I it do. a shot. Oh, so you want us to try it first? Go ahead. Okay. This is a roasted octopus, or grilled octopus. Yes, it does have grilled octopus and calamari. Ooh. Grilled octopus and calamari. And, and this. And prepared up an orzo salad. There's a little kale on top. Ah. A little taste of black olives and the feta cheese. Okay. Oh, wow. Vinaigrette dressing. Bro, okay, that's what I was doing. this is amazing. <laughs> Thank you. I'm literally waiting on a wow. Christina, like every dish is. Mm. Mm. Like, I can't even talk. This so good. No, <laughs> for real. This has me stung. This is so good. Okay. Um, I would be too scared to make this at home, though. Especially like, like the octopus head. Yeah, no, I cannot. No, <laughs> I have to come here to get it. It will not happen. I, I can't look at the octopus um, It's head. not even that. I'm just afraid I'll poison myself or something. No, there is no way. This is incredible. And I, I, I have a confession. Okay. I don't like black olives. I don't, I picked them off food, but I actually enjoy the taste, how it's infused in here. I mean, it doesn't, you know, because to me, the olives can be overpowering. Mm -mm. I love olives. I'll eat olives all by themselves. Oh, man. Awesome. Thank you much. All right. All so. This is artistry on the plate, right? Mm -hmm. But Shamani Bistro, as we've been telling you, is an entire experience. The artwork that you're going to experience in here is being provided by Bahamian artists, blank canvas by Angelica. Mm -hmm. um, the fr front, also the front mural, but Alan Wallace is doing the inside decor, and Candy Thompson is doing the inside. Major accomplished, acclaimed Bahamian Indian artists artist, yeah. who are bringing a unique flavor, artistic flavor, see, to the oh. spot. <laughs> <laughs> From the That's moment you walk in. Real, literally, and yes. And then like, it translates to what you experience, what you taste, what you hear. It's like an immersive experience. That's something you put in your script, wasn't it? Yes, yes. <laughs> but this is, yeah. It, the flavors are, like, everything works together. This, I'm not a, again, I'm not an octopus loving guy. <laughs> no, I honestly, but this it, this is like changing my whole perception and view because sometimes you get octopus and it's kind of, you know. <laughs> Real baby. <laughs> Did you bring your foil? Oh my gosh. And then there's like a little burst of citrus or something. Yeah, 
compliment. Christina brings the aesthetic. I don't know. I try, I try. Oh my God. Um, but again, this is like a standalone, mm -hmm. you know, maybe you can, you can order this on its own. And this is definitely like Mediterranean inspired flavors and dishes. But as you mentioned earlier, the cuisine takes you all around the world. Mm, very Greek inspired, eh? Mm -hmm. I would think. Mm -hmm. And I understand they offer like chef and concierge services. So if you have like something that you want to do in your home, you can tell them, say, oh, um, we're inspired by Paris or Italy. And then or they a can help you come up. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. My friends just love that. We you do know, a theme once, night. Yeah. Once we're past this, mm -hmm. you can have like dinner parties and not have to cook yourself, you know? You know. I love to entertain. Like that's a big thing for me. I love to entertain, but I hate the cooking. Oh, no. if you want to have um, a really exquisite experience at home, you know, you may not be interested in coming out. Or, you know, certain events uh, are better at home, depending on what they are. Yeah. In conversations that you can have out in public, you know, this you got to have this your friends true. over for that kind of stuff. So this is the perfect opportunity um, for that as well. We have more to tell you about. Bistro, the restaurant, they do individual boxes right. and um, oh. they provide the recipes. So that's how I actually heard about them online. Mm -hmm. I was still living in Las Vegas at the time, but obviously my family is here. Um, so I would still be following a lot of people and I'd see people get these meal boxes with all these exotic ingredients. And it's like, well, I know I'm not going to the store to figure out how to buy an octopus. Like, how do you even figure uh, out uh, how to buy an octopus? What do you ask for? There you go. Oh, this is lovely. Thank how you do you know, much. when you're buying an octopus, what do you look for? <laughs> go big. What? Go, go big? big? Go big? Go as big as you can. Oh. And then what? Like, you have to use right. all of it. And how, <laughs> and how <laughs> you, this is, it sounds very I'm complicated. I'm going to the experience of boiling a whole octopus and cooking it. Okay. Okay? Deal. That's gonna be your first cooking book. I, I'm, oh, I'm wow. there. Good. All right, because you know I like a curry man and they got. I can do like oh, a mean goodness. curry, but wow. Okay. Yeah. So, so that was my introduction to mm -hmm. showman e bistro. People bringing home these boxes and making these exotic meals. And it's like, well, I know I'm not going to the store to buy these ingredients for no one in my house to eat this. No. Mm -mm. But like they have, you can get the box with the different portions, so it's enough for your family, or it's enough for lunch the next day. That makes a whole lot of sense because a lot of times as well, you go and you buy ingredients for something, and it's like, oh, you need a <laughs> yeah. a teaspoon of this, a and you're to buy the yeah, you like the whole bottle, you like that. Now what? <laughs> So that makes a lot of sense is they give you, you know, the, the, the ingredients and just the amounts that you need. So when you're done, you know, you're done. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Ingredients in a box. Wow. And recipes. Mm -hmm. So that's the really cool part because even if you have an octopus, if you figured out how to buy an octopus, how do you then go about preparing I it? I draw me by never buy an <laughs> octopus. Ever. Well, once you get the box, you can buy an octopus. You can so send me the octopus <laughs> in the portion I need. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this is really good. And you know what's so strange? Like, sometimes we look at things on a menu and you think, ah, I really don't want to. Mm -hmm. Or I won't venture into that. But this is the kind of thing that um, you would take a risk on and uh, you'd be happy that you did. 
most about everything here thus far you take the risk on and you're gonna come out happy No. <laughs> I don't know what I expected. <laughs> well, this is amazing. Thank you all for inviting us. Thank this you is very really fun. On a Friday night. Friday I'm well. It's always a struggle, like to figure out what you're going to eat. It is. Yeah. No one wants to cook. No, nobody cooks. <laughs> on. No, no, no. No, no. It's definitely. We're good. Yeah, we're ready for the next round. Mm -hmm. I know more is coming, so I'm making a huge mess. Um, there is more coming. Oh. Matter of fact, there's lots more coming. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. So if you want it together, take a breather, stretch your legs, go say hi to the DJ. Ah, we could do that. All right. We'll get up and go walk to the, oh, to the DJ. So the whole concept is that you move around and you have a good time. I'm gonna take the wine because that's a little bit more dignified <laughs> uh, than the vodka. By the end of this night, I'm not gonna be able to figure out what I'm gonna <laughs> Just so you know, okay? Just so you know. DJ Vines, how's it going, my brother? You good? Sorry, we shook hands, you know the power. We, we, we always don't break the rules. So, like, okay, in, a, in an event like this, I hope you can hear him on this, like, how do you choose the music for a night like this? Like, how do you choose the music for a Friday night vibe? Well, Jerome, honestly, my whole life I've just been feeling of energy. And I'm feeling of you guys' energy right now. <laughs> and I'm like... I think you need some of this to go with some of that. No, you, yeah, you, yeah. you, you, you yeah. obviously yeah. got it. Yeah, so yeah. I'll, I'll just run it with you guys. Whatever you guys okay. want, okay. I'll adjust as much as you and more. So do you sort of look around the room and see, like, you know, people are, like, like vibing with the uh, music, or they're yeah. like, yeah, so I'm One thing I can tell you from my personal experience with show managers, so, and the entire staff, they yeah. are very diverse. So really? You, you can play gospel music and break it straight together. Oh, wow. You get something great. And that's a that's a party crowd. Yes, it now, is. Now diversity is important. Yes, it What's is. What's your favorite kind of music, Christina? Watch this now. <laughs> <laughs> I am almost embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> and by almost, I mean definitely embarrassed. But no, so I have a very diverse, diverse palette. Okay. Go ahead. But. <laughs> One of my favorite groups, and by the time I say group, you already know no, which I, direction. No judgment, no judgment, no judgment, no judgment. Go ahead. I grew up like in the 90s, you know? Okay. So, Spice Girl, Girl Power. Okay, so uh, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. <laughs> Spice Girl, they were cool. But I also love They're like so one well. song, right? I <laughs> 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 Boom. <laughs> I don't do that though. I mean, <laughs> on principle, this I is. It's a classic drum. It is a classic drum. Really, really well. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really want. They're like, what if? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, so And, you know, to go to carnival, oh, listen. you need a carnival body. Every day. Huh? You need a carnival body. That's true, that's true. So, okay, I'm a carnival lover too now. Don't get me wrong. I, like a Trinidad carnival dude, kind of yes, yes, kind of yes. carnival. I, I go to carnival here. But no, I, you don't just need a carnival body to wear the, to wear the costume. The but you, you need the energy. Yeah. Like, that's a, that's a lot of work. No, I'm a carnival lover. Like, seriously, but I'm into R&B. Like, I'm a dance dude. Like, I I could dance. Like, that's a big thing for me. I into R&B. Some hip-hop, you know, but I'm old not, school. I have not seen this room. I have that's good. I and mean, we'll keep you. it that way. 
But I'm an old school dude. Like I, you know, old school party, you get me. Like when I host party parties at my house, it's an old school party all. DJ Fonz, like I tell you, when I host in a party again, so you come provide the music. But it's an old school party. And even like my friends who are in their 20s and something, I'm like, oh man, it's a fun vibe. Yeah. The one thing that we are missing, and I say this all the time, the one thing we are missing as a society nowadays, getting intellectual, we don't dance enough anymore. I, I grew up in the era when we went to nightclubs. Ah. And you danced in the nightclub. Like, you see a girl, you see a pretty girl, you say, you want to dance? And you got to meet her on the dance floor. You'd be like, hey, right. what's your name? And you're waiting all night for that one slow song, so you get a little slow dance. Mm -hmm. But we don't do that anymore. I mean, I don't go out as clubbing as much, but, you know, like my nephews and friends. They're like, they stand around, they be on the phone, exactly. and they try to find you on Instagram or something, or send you a message. and. Like, that's what they can, yeah, yeah, the production sounds like, yeah, so, I mean, what do you expect? But that used to be part of our culture. Like, yes. my grandmother met her future husband at, was it the, the Silver Slipper? Silver Slipper, yeah. The Silver Slipper. Yeah, and so that's where you met, you met, you interacted. We don't do enough of that anymore, so hopefully we'll get some of that vibe going in where people dance. You know, you come out, you, you interact, and you have a good time. You unwind, but, you know, everything, like, even music videos now, I'm like, they ain't dancing, they just sort of like half naked and like, I'm like. These kids will never know about like BET on a Saturday, but like music, it. music helps everything. It helps with your mood, it helps when you're eating dinner. It yes. like sets the tone. So interestingly, I cook with music. Okay. So I have, I'll put my, my portable speaker in the kitchen. I Bluetooth my phone. And I just go on its music. And I know sometimes my neighbors must be like, what the? But, you know, and, and music for me is everything. I, I, I have music in the bathroom and I get ready for work. Or You're going to think I'm a nerd. Go I ahead. cook with podcasts or audio books. Again, no judgment. <laughs> <laughs> so, no. But, yeah, you're right. So music is, music is everything, particularly in a setting like this. You ready? Ready? Okay, all right. All so right. we're going to Christina, I got to go, go around. No. I know. Save you, save you that. <laughs> I, I lost It'll count. Get more and more I lost count. DJ Fines, thank you very much, my brother. Keep it for keeping the vibe going. Hey, now we got a party. Aha. I did. I did. <laughs> Do you remember? You bring the food, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was. Oh, wow. All right, Kevin, hold on. What, what are we eating here now? This is a spicy cauliflower. Rice. A spicy cauliflower. Spicy cauliflower rice bowl. It's on a bed of spinach. Fried avocado on top. I'm gonna I taste a little that. toasted walnuts in it. Ooh. And there is salami. I love the So, what? Uh huh. We got to be real. <laughs> All right. All right. I, I will not lie. When I saw the fried stuff, I thought it was like, is he bringing us wings? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I, I know. I didn't, I, I didn't even say it out loud. I was thinking it. Then I looked at it. Like, ah, no, that's not at all. Okay. It smells really good. Wow. I feel bad for cauliflower. It always gets a bad rap. Yeah, no one gives it any love. No, no. I mean, and recently it's, all... it's gotten a little bit more love, especially for vegans. So this would be considered like a vegan like This a vegan is really meal. a vegan meal. But this is really fantastic. I'm gonna try the fried avocado in a minute. Mm -hmm. You've got, you've tasted the roast, the, the almond? Not yet, but I tasted the cilantro. Finally, the cilantro. Mm. Do you enjoy cilantro or do you I think do. it tastes like soap? No, I love it. I, no, I, I really do like it, no. There are some people who are genetically <laughs> Genetic, like soap? Yes. They they can't taste the flavor that we taste. They taste soap. What? 
Christina, how do you know these people? <laughs> Remember I told you I, I listen to podcasts? <laughs> Just absorb. <laughs> absorb all that information that I may not need okay. ever in life. So you've got to taste the fried avocado. I'm, I'm getting it, though. And I have an admission again. Mm. I'm not a fan of avocado. But this, but this, I said, I didn't say I don't eat it. I mean, it's like, oh, you need pear with it. Right. You know, with your grits. Oh, I don't mean all that. <laughs> this is really good. It is. This, and this is that slam dunk with the avocado. Because it's fried and it's crunchy on the mm -hmm. outside, but then it's smooth on the inside. I mean, seriously, I mean, until you pointed out, I didn't even think about the fact that it's like a vegan dish. But it's full of flavor. You don't miss the meat. Mm -mm. I live without rice. <laughs> <laughs> so this, this have your rice. along. You know that? Yes, Jerome. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Jerome, I was born in 85, okay? So I have the best of both worlds. I don't know who these young mumble rappers are nowadays. I can't keep up with them. Just like okay? Mumble rappers? That's what they call, <laughs> like that's, that's the genre. <laughs> Mumble rock. Do you know what they're saying? I have no clue. No clue. But depending on where I am, I just sort of like go along like, hey, this is cool, but no. Exactly. I, I, don't, I don't really know. But like, I feel like 80s, 80s kids got the best of both worlds. We did. We still get the, the, um, the history and the culture of like the 70s. But 80s then we were the have be the pop best and the R&B of the 80s and the 90s. I went to high school in the 80s. Best decade ever. Thank you, Jerome. I was born in the 80s. No, it's okay. <laughs> I forgive you. That means a good time to be born. Thank you. 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 Showman Mukbang, Christina, Jerome, we are live um, here at Showman E Bistro, the restaurant on Matthew Street, that beautiful building that you've been seeing. I'm um, getting ready to opening soon. Yep, and bring a whole new dining experience, um, more than and greater than you would could have ever imagined, um, and. Uh, the food is magnifique. No so, way, uh, Italian? Mm. That's French? I don't know. I think that's French, yeah. yeah. French, magnifique? I don't know. My French teacher would be annoyed. I didn't know. I wish I could think of a Spanish word to go along with it now, but <laughs> yummy. Would you imagine doing this like on a regular, on a Friday? You could really, really do, you could bring some friends, yes. come on date night with your husband. You won't even notice the 10 p.m. curfew. Not <laughs> on the way home, you will. <laughs> <laughs> but you get to like taste the flavors oh, from yeah. all over the world yeah. while at one place. Yeah, so if you're not, if you've, if you've been home complaining that you haven't, you know, gotten an opportunity to travel and go on those vacations, and right. so this is a good place to come and start to see what you've been missing, food-wise. Yes. Yeah. And if you've never tried a certain type of cuisine, you can try it here. Be open-minded. A lot of times we go to restaurants and we look for the things that we know, um, but this is chicken breast, wings, <laughs> yes. yeah. um, fritters. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, exactly, in that order. So, you know, when you come here, 
really be open-minded and try everything. Try it. Um, you know, even every week if you try one new thing. Um, and I, I, I give you my word, you are going to fall in love. This is amazing food. They describe it as handcrafted moments. And like, I can feel the love in this dish. I'm, I'm having several moments. It wasn't just thrown together. Like yeah. All of these flavors work together and the textures because you have like the fried avocado. Fried, and roasted. Rice and roasted. There's the rice. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so that's, you know, the sort of the, the salad feel as well. So this just is Just know a, that it smells really good in here yeah. right now. And just as I've stopped eating, it doesn't mean that it's not good. <laughs> All that time in the gym waits. <laughs> it's okay. But we'll it be is. Ready good. in time when the world yeah. opens up again. Yeah, for sure. Um, so, again, a shout out to the artists as well who are um, the visual artists who are helping to create this experience for you. Um, and just walking in and seeing. Yes. The creation. I, I can't oh wait to see what it actually looks like when it's all completed already. It looks amazing. Right. Um, just in, in walking in. So we got a sort of a sneak peek coming in. Um, and if you pass the building, it's like an inside and outside mm -hmm. experience as well. So you can you, know, you can hang out outside if you want to, but there's inside. Um, and so it's many, many different experiences, you know. Um, and in the heart of Nassau, or heart of New Providence. Of New Providence, New yes. Providence, maybe. So you mm -hmm. don't have to do the valet parking and all this in order to have a good meal. Walking for half a mile to get to the restaurant. And, right. You know, um, so it's, <laughs> it's, no, it's sure I'll enough. i something else. But no. <laughs> you know. uh, more wine. Bring <laughs> myself back in there. Oh. This is a really nice experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's. It's not your typical Friday night, but it no. is um, it is certainly worth the experience. And thanks to the folks to in, for inviting us to be the yes. very first. Oh my goodness. Yes, I was. It's our first mukbang. It's their first mukbang. Yes, it's is your, it your first. first <laughs> <laughs> so, but you know, the thing about a Friday is, you it, it's like that day. I mean, even if you work weekends, you I think you look forward to Friday in some ways because. Like the mood yeah. changes, it even does. at work, you're like yeah. everybody's like, oh, you know, it's been. A, they want to, we want to get through Friday, yeah. You know, um, and then around about three, four o'clock, people really start to unwind, and so by the time you get. <laughs> I remember, that was a look of admiration, oh, like you. I, I mean... was impressed. Girl. I, I, don't know, yes. I can appreciate it. Just yes. like I can really appreciate this cauliflower, especially like music, okay. with my favorite cilantro. Yes. And just for those of you who are wondering, the song in the background is called Oh Sheila, Ready for the World, right? Boom, there you go. Aha. I'm a bit of a music on the saw, you know. I would not have guessed the name yes. of the song, but yeah. I. I know the song. Yeah. One of the classics of the 80s. When we go to nightclub and... <laughs> you went over that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Next time you can do a dodge party, you can, you can teach Christina some more. <laughs> Yeah. Do you yeah. remember when I became of age to go to a nightclub? Did you go to the zoo? Were you around for the Jerome. zoo? The first time I went to the zoo, it burned down. <laughs> <laughs> the weekend after I went, I went to the zoo. I, wow, really? Did I you spent, have like one? I spent my whole life as a you know young adult waiting to go like a teenager waiting to go you see the jeep okay yeah you Coming see the, the animal wall. hanging out the jeep you're like i want to 
want to go in there. I know it isn't a real zoo, but I want to go in there. The week out. Talk about luck. Really? Yeah. Wow. Well, I covered the fire. That was very painful as a reporter. It was very, very painful because um, I knew, you know, what that place meant. But you know, I'm hoping one day we get back to places like that where um, you could just go and have, it was good, clean, fun for the most right. part, you know. Um, but hopefully this is the beginning of uh, the resurgence yes. of the nightlife. You know, our country was very famous for nightlife and over the hill nightlife. And our artists that, yes. go, that you know, made the music that dictated what we now know as history. Yeah. Live music was yes. a big thing. Oh my goodness. You talked about the fact that your grandparents met at the Silver Slipper. Yeah. Um, my grandparents talked about that all the time. And that was that was live music. That was and and the Silver Slipper. Silver, Silver so Slipper. To me, they're yeah. like the same place, but yeah, there was I the drum places like the drum beat club as well. And then there was um, Dirty Dicks. Yes. Yes. And some of these places I've only heard about or seen pictures of. Mm -hmm. But like I think an experience like a pandemic where we've been forced to stay at home, it's going to encourage us to go out and enjoy what we have. Enjoy what is for us. Like this is made by Bahamians for Bahamians, but it takes you all over the world. It certainly does. Um, there's a, a joke that everything post pandemic is gonna be lit. <laughs> like every party, every Agreed. restaurant, and we're better to start it than here. Yeah. So if you're making plans um, to get out whenever you can, um, certainly when they open, because the outdoor dining will be available, um, right. so that you'll be able to start there. And you know, as the restrictions are relaxed and other things happen, um, this is going to be, I think, one of those places that will set the tone. You know, going forward, where people people are going to be happy to interact with. Yes, and to enjoy a meal. Yeah. In clothes that are not your pajamas. <laughs> or your shorts and a t-shirt. Yeah, <laughs> your flip flops. Like. Yeah. It's nice. It's nice to dress up. Like, obviously, I went to work today, but I decided to change my clothes because I had a reason to. You had somewhere to go. Yes. So, like I, I was waiting for like I was like okay, um, I started like choosing my outfit at like three o'clock today. I was like, what I go wear? What I go wear? What I go wear? I go wear? I go wear? Oh, oh so this good. is amazing! I didn't eat more because I knew what. Stuck out to you. What did you like the most? I I really enjoyed the cauliflower with the cilantro. The I really fried. Avocado for me, and I, I admission I'm not an avocado fan, okay. but I love that the cauliflower too. Chicken wings. Chicken wings. Chicken wings. Yeah, real, real talk. No, no wings. No real talk. <laughs> Those wings. <laughs> so, yes, sir. Come to our final dish. Okay. Oh. This can get messy right now. Watch. This is the moment you've been waiting for. Wow. Thank you. Wow. Ooh. I smell the aroma. Do you smell yeah, the aroma? I smell the aroma from over there. This. This. Oh, wow. This. You can smell. I mean, the spices are emanating. So kind of you. <laughs> All right, give us the rundown. This is Grandma A's spicy grilled chicken. Mm. It's on a bed of cloth. This is an Indian rice. Okay. It has saffron, raisins, carrots, and chickpeas. You said <laughs> the chicken again is what? Grandma A's spicy Grandma A's. grilled chicken. And what's the green? The green. Is that more cilantro? Oh my goodness, okay. You heard, you heard your cry. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a cilantro queen. I bought a cilantro <laughs> plant the other day. Ah, so 
I understand. Okay. Mm. And the and the Indian rice. Wow. Yeah, because I see the um the raisins or currants. What do you call them? Are raisins Cur and currants the same thing? Um, I'm not gonna make a fool of myself. I don't know. I I think. I'll call it a golden raisin. Yeah. Oh. This one is not on your face. Oh. And I intentionally held out on you. Oh. But this is a local brand of pepper sauce. Yes. That we fell in love. So oh, this is from Grandma Grandma Audrey's Audrey. made by my friend Violet. <laughs> she can thank me. Okay. Or oh, hate me. Either. So I'll leave it right there beside you. You go ahead and enjoy. So you can put a little bit of this on it. Okay. You know, sometimes you don't want to spoil the food. Violet, this is you. I've had this pepper sauce, by the way. It's really very good. Did you know you ever, you ever had this? I have not had Made by Bahamian. Yeah, very good. But I'm enjoying it. So, now that looks very intense and intimidating. It's not intense. Let's try a little bit. I don't know about that girl. Let's try a little it looks bit. It's very hot. Okay, I'll just put a little bit on, on the side of your okay. plate. So you can take a little bit. Oh. Go ahead and enjoy. Okay. Thank you. Take a little piece of chicken. So delicately. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> this is kicker. Mm -hmm. It does add a kick you to it, though. <laughs> you did not fully prepare me. Christina, it's pepper sauce in the bomb. It's like, what do you, what do you expect it to? I just made a huge, like, bell. It's as he pours more wine, the top flipped off the table. <laughs> if it's anybody who will make a mess, it's going to be me. You're at home. Yeah, huh? I'm at home. All right. You're relaxed. Yeah, they send me the laundry bill tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I do. <laughs> don't, 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 don't laugh. Don't laugh. <laughs> Trying to play it off. <laughs> Nothing to see here. <laughs> Absolutely not. No. What is that? It's very spicy. Okay. Um, I would do it a disservice if I tried to say where it was from. Mm -hmm. um, but it's like a spicy roasted chicken, and it's the sauce that goes on it. Uh, it's very good. This is amazing. And there's also the cinnamon flavor. Yeah. That's what I smelled first when they mm -hmm. brought it over. That's the cinnamon stick thing here, right? Mm -hmm. So this is like a perfect entree. Um, and you think, ah, oh, chicken and rice, but this ain't your grandma's chicken. And it ain't your grandma's rice mm -hmm. either. Unless she puts chickpeas <laughs> and golden raisins in there also. Currants, as you call them. Mm -hmm. And here I was thinking I wouldn't have any space to eat anything else. Hmm. Oh well. Hmm. I just want you all, can you all get sent for the COVID police, please, to drop me home? I need a ride home after this. <laughs> 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 That's gonna be a good night's sleep after this. Oh, man. Yeah. This is perfect, and I, I am not a fan of chicken breasts, but that's, that's the side of the chicken that's over here, and I just dug in. And like it's oh. so juicy and tender that I don't even feel like it's chicken breast. We I don't know why I have two forks, but anyway. Um <laughs> the nice is raged out of control. <laughs> All of my Emily post training has gone out of the window. Um oh. No, but we we get along fine. I'm not a thigh guy. I I I'm a breast. Yeah, I can I, mm -mm. Okay. All I right. find no thighs in my freezer. I I am big. Mm. Maybe a little curry or something. I think I chopped them up, but. That's how I feel about grass. Yeah, we get along just fine. <laughs> we spend the chicken and half. We'd, we'd, we'd be perfect, yeah. That is just right. 
you know, people think, oh, but chicken is such a common dish. Um, but this is this is not common. Chicken. Not at all. Mm -hmm. my, is, my husband would really love the flavors of this because it's spicy, but not too spicy. So you think you cook this now? I hope we watch it. Because I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know how much of this because that little bit that I put in my mouth, like whatever they put on the chicken, was the right amount. What I added was not the right amount. You mean the sauce? Yeah. Like a little dab. But I'm a pepper guy, so not works well for me. In moderation, you know, yeah, as you I start like to that. get up in age, there's a thing called um, heartburn. Casino. Say it. I older than you. It's not about heartburn. <laughs> <laughs> Struggle of a woman. Definitely water. But you know what I like too? It's like sometimes you get a chicken and they say, oh, it's, 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 it has this sauce or whatever, and it's just on the top layer. Right. This is cooked all the way through. You know, something like by the time you peel the skin off, that's it. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it's regular chicken underneath. But that's how I was taught to cook chicken. You put the seasoning underneath the skin. Not you were, you were taught to cook. Oh, thank you. Some people were taught to throw together. My mommy is all responsible. Mm -hmm. So how many times a week do you think you, would you say that you cook? I like real life. That's not. Real life days? <laughs> no. I don't even know. <laughs> Let's start with real life days. Like, how no, often? In do you real think? life days, I would cook maybe five nights a week. Wow. But Fridays and Saturdays, no. it ain't okay. for me. Mm -hmm. I'll cook breakfast, like a real breakfast on Saturdays yeah. and Sundays. That's probably the only morning. Saturday's the one morning that I'll cook a really big breakfast. Well, you got kids, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. different. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. I'm a... So the meeting of the ages now begins What to... part of the night are we on? Are you all indicating for us to get up and dance? <laughs> <laughs> that ain't up. To this? <laughs> Your work, I shut the stream down. <laughs> so they're encouraging us to get up and dance. Nah. Mm-mm. Back sure. in my zoo days, you might have caught me. In the know. zoo days? Mm -hmm. This is so good. I have to admit, yeah, no, this is. Like, it's perfectly cooked. And there's yeah. my little bit of cilantro. I'm actually going to scoop this up and eat this with my rice. And mine's in my rice, too. I'm going to do the same. I'm scared of that pepper sauce. Like, it, it is really good. I'm just not, not built for it. This rice is amazing. It's yeah. a saffron. Mm hmm Like, it's nice to try new food that you don't have to cook yourself. And here I was thinking that I'd eaten so much I wasn't going to be able to get through the main course, but this is... I think I've definitely run out of space. Um, but I'm going to try to fit in at least one more bite of chicken. Because this is way too good. So, because Christina read up on the notes, she knows how uh, a mukbang is supposed to go. I hope that this is going the way it's supposed to go, because I'm really having a hell of a time here. <laughs> so I hope that we're doing our jobs. Um, oh, wow. Um, I haven't heard this. Where is Drew Hill? Where is Drew Hill? Does anyone know? Does he know? Does the group know? <laughs> I used to love it. Listen, does anyone remember getting your VHS tape? Mm -hmm. You got me. Go ahead. Tune it up. Mm -hmm. Watching BET all day, just waiting for your music video to come on. Like and then press and record, 
and don't miss the beginning. One better. We used to put in the cassette tape, mm -hmm. have on the radio all day, yeah. and have it on play, record, and pause. Yes, yes. And when you hear your song, you like breaking your neck. Mm -hmm. And then you're waiting there, waiting, and you pray to DJ. Don't say, don't talk. Don't like, talk. Don't hear, like, don't talk. Like, you don't say nothing on jazz now and <laughs> screw up your own song. But that, 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 like that, that was a mixtape. Yep. And you be. I wish I still had mine. Confession. So where would I play them? Confession. What do you play them on, Jerome? I don't know what you play them on, but I have a container, a plastic container, filled with cassette tape. Wow. That I never got rid of. Um, I still have, and I also have a container full of LPs. You know what LP is? Uh, <laughs> so LB was were those round things like like four times the size of a like of a, a um, CD or DVD, called? like a record. It's a record, yeah. yeah. But the correct name is an LB, yeah. Okay. So I have a whole thing of records as well, but nowhere to play them on. But oh, um, wow. I'm gonna one day. But you know the things out there you can buy. The you can buy like a record, a modern. So I st I still have mixed tape. I have tapes that I made up on the radio when I was in high school. I feel like I threw mine away. No, I have. Mm. Yeah. So, no, I still have mine. So, one day they'll be. We'll put them in the Jerome Soria Museum one day, you know. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah, it is coming. I, I got to be alive to make sure it opens. Yes, you will be. Yeah, I mean, this is really good. This is really All right. Good. I'm going to make Speaking a glutton of, good, of myself. Um, Showman has also been doing good in the community, especially when it comes to after Hurricane Dorian and then the pandemic. Um, providing meals for people who just couldn't afford it, who couldn't make ends meet, because it has been a tough time for so many people, for so many people who may have lost jobs, who may have been, say, managers in hotels, and then found themselves a few weeks later unable to put food on the table for their family. So That's hard. Showman has helped to keep people fed. You know... The test of a good company is not just to provide great service or great food or um, a great product or commodity, but to be a good corporate citizen. Mm -hmm. And that's a very important, um, that's a very important and significant role. And they have been doing an amazing job and quietly right. um, in, in helping to feed thousands of, of people and, and so many families. And, you know, and for those of us who were able to work through the pandemic and kept going, that was a, that was an honor. And a blessing. It was a blessing. It was a privilege. And sometimes you, you know, I always had to remind myself that there were people out there, and still are to some degree, yeah. who just did not have it. Right. Who could not go to the grocery store. Who could not, you know, feed families and do other things. And so. For them to be to be able to do this, you know, to do that in, in such large numbers, you know, is a testament to the folks here and the great work that they're doing. Um, and so, you know, our hats off to them as well. Well, this food is amazing. I don't know if you know. Anybody told you? <laughs> you got the message in the box. That the food's amazing, um, but it really is amazing. So good, so good. <clears throat> so yeah, wow, what a Friday. So you were talking about yeah, your friend. Friday? Oh yes, sauce. Violet. Too man, I throw the whole thing on the ground. Yeah, right um, the but, but no, Bahamian made pepper is. sauce. It's really, really good. And I'll tell you, like sometimes when I travel, I get some from and take them to my friends abroad, mm -hmm. and they're always like, "Oh, Jerome, are you coming? Going to bring some more?" But you know, COVID. Um, Isn't that cool that mm -hmm. this is a small Bahamian vendor mm -hmm. who, if you go to a restaurant and you order cuisine from anywhere in the world, you mm -hmm. never expect that. Oh, this. This sauce was made by a Bahamian. For sure. And these are the, these are the kinds of things that we need to encourage more. There's so many right. homemade recipes that we can um, we should be, you know, turning into businesses and manufacturing and light manufacturing, you know. Um, but no, this is this is really 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 good stuff. I I keep that's a matter of fact. I need to get some more. <laughs> yes, we're all done. And Thank then you. showman, that's what they that's what they've included as part of the meal, like helping small vendors get on your plate yeah. and into your tummy and home with you because you're about yeah. to take this whole jar of sauce yeah. home. I already know what's gonna happen. Really, Christina? You, it's like really? you break it, you bought it. So you Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Home. This is a song of the night. 
Tevin Campbell. Can we talk? This is this like a divining song. Like a, well, these are the kind of songs they play at the end of the night when they turn the lights on. No, maybe. This just before the lights come on. <laughs> <laughs> when you, the club winding down and you like, that one guy looking on all night. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Um, can we talk? Yeah, this so this is, listen, I, I just want to say this has been an incredible night. Incredible food. Um, the team here has been wonderful. Thank you all for inviting us. Um, I hope that you represent it, let me represent it well. Um, Showman E Bistro, Mackey Street, the beautiful building across from Wendy's, uh, the restaurant. Uh, great food, great art great entertainment it is just a wonderful experience so keep watching keep following very soon you'll be able to come and do what we did yes i must say the food has been excellent yeah excellent it was a real treat a surprise to not know what to expect like what would end up on our plate but yeah every every meal every course was a different journey an enjoyable one and something different to your palate I think we went like on a world cruise, not yeah. just Mediterranean. But I'll, I'll go with it. And thank you, Christina, for coming and joining me. Oh, you know. thank you. I saw Ross, Christina, like daily at work. <laughs> Christina, what about this? Tax <laughs> <laughs> so it's, yeah. it's, um, it's good to, you know, good to get out and unwind. And, you and know, escape from the ordinary. Yes, 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 yes. And still beat the COVID police. So. Yeah, we can, we can beat them all. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So thank you all for watching. And we're going to go to the bar. I hope Ooh. you had a good time. We have an after dinner. I can hardly get up. <laughs> After dinner drink. Let me oh. adjust. adjust everything. Tuck in oh. everything. Make sure oh. we can fit past the glass. All right, so. let me slide over here this time. Good. Oh, whoa. Um, do, you, do you want to surprise me with something else? Or is there. Okay. Okay, give me one more. All right. All right. So, wow. Good. Man. <laughs> real, see, oh. Real hey now. Oh, wow. Hey now. Wow. So, we got some parting gifts for you all. Oh, wow. And we want to thank you all so very much <laughs> for coming. Thank you for having and, us. Thank you. Uh, so, did you enjoy? Oh, yes. What was your favorite part of the entire experience? A tough question, I know. It is very tough. Very, very tough. You know, there wasn't a... Can I just rest this down? Sure. So we don't talk over the bike. Um, you know, the, the production guy. Make sure we clear. <laughs> um, thank you, thank you. If there wasn't any single thing, everything came together beautifully. Yes. Every, as I said, every, um, every dish had its own unique flavor. Yes. Um, there was that fusion of flavors. Um, and you, it was a journey almost. So everyone, and it was an un unexpected journey on, in most cases. I mean, right, I, I felt like I was on a first class flight. Like I boarded an airplane, someone came and poured me a drink and I knew I was going somewhere, I just didn't know where. And I didn't have to worry about turbulence. <laughs> and like, it was just seamless from yeah. beginning to end. Excellent, excellent, we're so happy that you all Enjoyed yourselves with us this evening. And the onboard entertainment was yes. amazing. Yes. 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 <laughs> and so that's what it's all about. We want to create a fabulous experience uh, for you both. And maybe we have you back tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if the babies will let me get away again, but if I'll I come. could. Well, I'll come. <laughs> right, yeah. no. We want to invite everybody else to tune in tomorrow. So this was the inaugural journey. Yeah. Great. And of course, again, we want to thank you so much. From all of us here at Chilmani TV Show, thank you so much. Move back with what you said. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Woo!